Hey now, everybody, and welcome back to another chapter in Stop Motion Animation with me, Mike Galanska. Today, setting up our lights, cameras, and frame grabbing software. So here's a list of supplies we'll be using. 150 watt incandescent clamp lights, either a webcam, digital camcorder, or DSLR camera, a camera tripod or a tabletop tripod, a USB cable or firewire cable depending on your camera, a USB extender if you need one, a table, a laptop, a copy of iStop Motion available online as a free trial, or Dragon Stop Motion, which I only recommend for experienced animators, and finally some sort of USB keypad or wireless keyboard and mouse for easier animating. So why the clamp lights? Well, with any sort of video or stop motion production, lights are very important. The most professional way to go about lighting a set would be to rent or purchase a light kit. But for any animator, it would be ridiculous to do that after learning the price. Clamp lights and work lights are available at most hardware stores for only $9 each. And though they don't come with stands, you can always find creative ways to mount them. As an example of how effective they can be, I always use them when lighting my tabletop demos for these videos. Always test out your lights through your frame capture software. Since we are using digital cameras, we can always adjust the exposure from inside the program. In order to set up lights properly, just use your eyes and your own judgment and always watch where your shadows are. As for cameras, DSLR is always the best for the most crisp photos. In fact, shooting your animation with a DSLR can produce 4K videos, which puts 1080p to shame. But because this is a practice, I suggest we use a webcam or digital camcorder, which is very simple to do and will produce faster frame captures. Using an internal or external webcam or camcorder, secure your camera in any way so it's in no risk of moving, and turn on your laptop. The fastest and most efficient way to do stop motion nowadays is to use frame capture software. Dragon is a top-of-the-line program priced at $295, so if you're a beginner, I suggest trying a program like iStopMotion, which is available on their site for $50 or is a free 5-day trial. Once you've installed the trial, let's open it up. Upon launching iStopMotion, the first thing it will have you do is label your project. I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now as demo. Take notice of the preset settings. My webcam is 720p, so I'll select that. And finally, FPS stands for frames per second, which is the amount of pictures you will capture to make one full second. The two most standard settings are 24 and 30 FPS. Let's get ours to 24 for slightly faster animating. Next, your camera display will pop up. If you have multiple cameras, be sure you have the right one selected. Check your exposure by clicking the settings button and dragging the circles to your liking. In order to capture an image, you can either click the record button or use your spacebar. This is where having a wireless keyboard or mouse comes in handy so you're not constantly running to your computer. After you capture your first frame, you'll notice a transparent image of what is happening live. This is called an onion skin layer, and is terrific for helping us view how far we move our armature between frames. Each time I take a picture, I make sure I'm completely out of frame and away from the lights to avoid scattered shadows. What I'm doing now is making our armature's arm wave over the course of 3 seconds or 72 frames. Here's a great shortcut when animating something like a wave. I know I want that arm to move back and forth several times. Instead of animating the same thing, I simply copy my frames, paste them again, and select reverse order to the selection. Once you've done that, hit play and watch your armature come to life. Finally, when you're done, simply export your video and move on to your next shot. So in three weeks, we made our own armature, we built our own practice animation set, and we set up our lights, camera, and learned a little bit about iStop Motion. So next week, let's make our guy walk. Until then, I'm Michael Anska. Do me a favor. Have a good one.